This is not a scene from one of the action movies. The weapons displayed here for all to see are real. According to the Nigeria Customs Service, the bust is one of the largest single seizures of weapons in the country. The controller general says the 40-foot container with registration number MAEU 165396 originated from Turkey, laden with a large cache of arms and ammunition. He also confirms that in the container are 844 units of rifles and 112,500 pieces of life ammunition illegally imported into the country and that the three suspects have been arrested and detained in connection with the seizure. We had inside the container 844 units of assorted rifles. Number two, 112,500 pieces of live ammunition. And I'd just like to quickly break the numbers down. The numbers include 764 units of Tomahawk Joseph Magnum Black Pump Action Rifles, two, 10 units of Venom Caron Gun Makers Joseph Magnum Silver Pump Action Rifles, three, 50 units of Brenny Cannon Gunmaker Double Barrel Rifles, four, 20 units of Brenny Cannon Gunmaker Single Barrel Rifles, and five, exclusive series Sterling High Quality Live Ammunition in 34 gram category, 34 to 35 plastic shotgun shells. 70 mm. In another development, the customs also intercepted eight 40 foot containers on transit to a bounded warehouse from Monet Portacot. The containers, whose contents were wrongly declared to evade duty payments and prohibition orders, contained contraband substances like codeine, tramadol, and used clothing. And when we examined these containers, we found the following six of the containers were laden with 1,050,000 bottles of cough syrup with codeine, and they're all in 100 millimeter size. Two, 3,500,000 tablets of Trudor Benz all tablets, or otherwise known as Tamadol, in five milligrams. The last two containers had 720 bills of second-hand clothing. While the licenses and permits issued for the operation of all the warehouses and terminals, as well as those of their custom agents involved in these cases have been suspended indefinitely, the service has also promised to reward all officers who aided the seizures. Ferdinand Duroha, Arise News.